Hello everyone, and welcome to lesson eight, designing alternatives. By the end of this lecture, you'll be able to practice different methods of sketching, list qualities for effective brainstorming, and argue for designing alternatives. Let's talk about sketching. A long, long time ago, I was working on a project for my PhD, trying to invent a new interface for controlling haptic devices. And I decided to sketch my idea, and it came up with this, two people working with a tablet where they could feel the same thing and have a conversation. I presented it to my supervisor and she said, thanks, yeah, this is good. It articulates the concept, but could you make the people look less like gorillas? So I decided to spend some time practicing my sketching and eventually I was able to come up with this, which ended up into the, in the final paper. So I wanna ask you a question. How well can you draw? And wait, I should preface this. I don't claim to be a good illustrator I don't claim to be a visual artist. That last sketch was cleaner, but it wasn't necessarily art. A better question is, how well can you sketch? And to illustrate this, you're going to sketch. It's your turn. When I say go, I want you to draw a person talking on the phone as fast as you can. Make sure you pause the video when you do so. So get everything ready, get some paper, get your tablet, whatever you need to try and sketch a person talking the phone as quickly as possible. And then you're gonna see how quickly I can do it. Ready? Go. Okay, let me show you how I did it. How does that compare? The method I used was called the star method. That's right, there are actual methods for how you might be able to quickly sketch things. You start by drawing the head, you draw a star-shaped body, which is all just one line, and then you can add any details you want to try and make it fancier. So you could do something like this. And you can show excitement, you could show emotion with a little bit of practice of different poses, some extra lines. You can show activity, see how quickly you can draw someone running with a little like sweat bead on their face. This is not art. Uh, you might want to spend more time trying to get something if you want it to go into like a final print of, of some articulation of your design vision, but it's fast and it's clear and it can articulate what you need. Another way you might do this is the gray method. This is a way of doing stick figures that has a couple of uh, extra insights in it. You draw a body using a little square. Uh, you can draw it straight for formal or tilted to make it an active person. You draw a neck and a circle for the head, and then you go in and fill in the limbs in these really simple methods. And I mean, it's a stick figure, but again, you can do a lot with it. You can take a look at um, you know showing someone running, someone being a cheerleader, doing uh, some sort of martial art or walking the dog. And all of this is pretty easy to embellish if you just think a little bit about how quickly to do these kinds of designs. So here's an example of me doing this method. I'm forgetting the neck but you can relatively quickly show someone that's you know, standing there or working on a computer or possibly running. Again, it's not art. This is something that I would iterate on if I wanted a final vision, but it doesn't have to be super clean. It has to be fast and clear. The final method that I want to talk about is the lightning method. Here you draw a little lightning bolt. Think of Harry Potter if you want. You then finish with these extra little lines here, and then you can make it into a face. This is actually one of my favorites. It's super quick, and people don't really know what you're doing until you're done. And you can very easily add a hand if you want to have someone like interacting with, say, a tablet interface. So now, super quickly, I'm filling in the borders a little bit, you're able to have someone work with a touch screen or a kiosk. And so in this way, you can kind of get an over-the-shoulder shot very easily. So now it's your turn. I want you to draw a person talking the phone three different ways, and then I want you to submit this following the instructions on Learn. Again, this doesn't need to be a work of art, but it needs to be clear and it needs to be fast. Go. Okay. 